could not have been a better time to have me on the show. <laughs> um, as someone who has extensive uh, experience and expertise in PKI and specifically Microsoft's Active Directory services as Certificate Services, ADCS. Um, yes, so Microsoft introduced Cloud PKI this week. It's not been a real well-kept secret. It's been known for um, close to a year that Microsoft was working on this. Interestingly enough, to me, PKI should have been one of the if not the first, maybe the second cloud service ever, right? Right behind Exchange, maybe, right? <laughs> mail, mail was made to be a service, right? PKI has got to be right behind that. And I was always amazed that just they never seemed to pay attention to it. But now that they're trying to, you know, get as many people over to Azure and cloud services as they possibly can, they've they're they're focusing on any of those legacy anchors, anything that ties customers to on-premises, right? Let's build a cloud service so that we can ease migration to the cloud. And PKI was a blocker. A lot of people were just saying, hey, I still have to have domain controllers and you know root and issuing CIAs to issue certificates because I'm using them for Wi-Fi. I'm using them for a VPN. I'm using them for a variety of other things, right? And so, so I still have to have this. And so Microsoft finally broke down and built this service. They released it. Well, I shouldn't say it. They, part of it leaked out last week um, is, is the, the information that I got. I saw it in my tenant. I'd heard that it was, quote, released, jumped on it. And first of all, I found no documentation, which I thought was unusual. Two, I got everything set up, but I couldn't issue a certificate because the URLs were kind of bogus. They had placeholders and variables in them. I'm like, well, where do I get this information? And I uh, spoke with the PM of that. He says, well, funny story. Some of the some of the infrastructure was released, actually got pushed into Intune, but much of it was not. So right now you can build CAs, but you can't really issue any certificates from, or most people can't, I can't. Um, and so anyway, so it's interesting. So I've, I've got it all set up. I haven't issued a certificate because I can't do that just yet. Uh, what we hear is that tomorrow, Mar or third Friday, March 1st, it's supposed to be formally released. They're going to, as they put it, backfill the rest of the services that support the front end now, and then you'll actually fully work. So I'm looking forward again to maybe this Friday being able to get in there and actually issue some certificates and, and do some documentation and some other evaluation testing. But right now, it looks fantastic. I will caution you and your audience that it is, um, don't think that you'll be able to, you know, ditch your ADCS infrastructure just yet. You may be able to, it depends on what you're doing with it. Uh, if you're using it for very basic purposes, things like uh, client user and device authentication for things like Wi-Fi and VPN, probably the two most common workloads. Um, fantastic, this is gonna work very well for you. Uh, if you are using it for code signing, document signing, uh, server certificates like TLS, web servers, and things like that, this solution is not for you. Cloud PKI is also limited to um, Intune managed devices. So you can only issue certificates to devices under Intune management. Essentially, you can issue a certificate using Microsoft Cloud PKI to any device or endpoint that supports SCEP enrollment with the exception of Linux. Uh, what they're telling us now is that everything else works apparently uh, with the exception of Linux. Uh, I assume that'll come in the future, but at the end of the day, uh, it's a good start. I think it's going to help a lot of customers who have very rudimentary requirements for ADCS. They just need it for some basic user and device authentication. This is gonna be fantastic. It's gonna take a, a, a whole load of support off of your plate and pushing it into the cloud. Um, if you have more advanced requirements and you're you're doing more uh, you know advanced things, maybe it's not for you. It could also be that it augments or supplements your existing PKI. Cloud PKI does have the ability to uh, they call it BYOCA, so bring your own CA. So today in Cloud PKI, you can create a root CA and an issuing CA. And by the way, you have to do that. You have to create a two tier PKI, and you can only issue certificates from the issuing CA. You can't issue from the root. But at the end of the day, that's all you get is um, root issuing. You can't create a multi-tier PKI for there. There may be a variety of reasons you want to do that. Um, 
you can create multiple issuing CAs, of course. You can create multiple hierarchies. I could have multiple roots with issuing CAs under them. But again, BYOCA means I could have a cloud PKI issuing CA that is chained to my on-premises root CA. And I find that an intriguing option because we may have customers out there who use their their internal PKI ADCS infrastructure for a wide variety of things, but this might work well and be well suited to the specific use case of, I need to get you know user and device authentication certificates to my Intune managed clients. Let's, you know, let's go and, and move that there. I can uh, basically um, have an issuing CA tied to my root CA. And the beauty there is that I don't have to redeploy a root. I don't have to redeploy the the root of trust and, and all those certificates. And um, it looks like it's going to, you know, that'll be a probably a workable option as well. But just just remember, there's a lot of things that it, it can do. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things it can't do either. For today, for example, today it supports only RSA certificates. So if you have any requirement for Sweet B algorithms, specifically the elliptic curve, EC cryptography, doesn't support that. Um, there's a handful of other things like it doesn't have certificate templates like traditional ADCS does. So you control um, issuance policies basically through the SCEP profile in Intune. So anyway, I think it's going to be good. I, I, I think there's a lot of people that are uh, maybe inflating its value because I, I, they, they don't realize it, it, what the limitations are yet. And I'll, I'll be clear though, and, and the, the product management team has stressed this to us. This is a, this is a you know, a, a crawl, walk, run scenario. This is version one. This is the initial release. This is what they have. They will be building more and more features. Like for example, one of the biggest limitations of course, is now you have this cloud PKI, awesome. What do I do for Radius? Because I still need that for VPN and Wi-Fi and a variety of other services. Well, Microsoft doesn't have a cloud Radius service yet. They might in the future because that's going to be another workload that we need to migrate. Um, so anyway, there's a there's a there's a number of things that I think. And, and the other thing, I'll, I'll finish it off by saying uh, the cost may be prohibiting. Uh, it, it, there's some there's some talk about the potential for cost being a challenge, especially for larger customers. So Cloud PKI is a part of the Intune suite, which I think is $10 per user per month. That sounds it about is, right, yes. It, yeah. it is available, it is available uh, as, a, as an add-on. So Microsoft does allow you to license Cloud PKI separately from the, from the Intune suite. And that I believe is, don't you know, quote me, but I believe it is $2 per user per month. Awesome yeah. if you have you know fifty or hundred users, probably not real great if you have you know hundred thousand users. <laughs> so um, that cost, and, and I've seen some of the numbers floating around. It's like, well, this is going to cost me over a million dollars a year. I'm pretty sure I can stand up my own ADCS and hire a team to manage it uh, for much less than that. So anyway, uh, we'll see how that plays out. You know, I'm not a licensing expert. I don't know how all that works. But at the end of the day, there are some potential you know, drawbacks to the solution. But overall, I think it's going to be uh, going to be positive. Yeah, I, I was following a few threads on, on Twitter on that topic as well, where, where the, the cost was one of the main discussion yeah. points and basically comparing this, okay, with other solutions are there out there that also are cloud-based, uh, like yes. Skepman and others. So like, all mm -hmm. right. So, so I, I think we will, it will be great to see it. In general, competition drives, yeah. uh, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, it yeah. would be <laughs> pretty bad if it was only one vendor to to, to supply anything. It, it's it, it's useful for the good. I agree. I agree.